What up, though? DJ Star back with another unboxing. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And I'm still pushing for those subscribers. And make sure you check out my video links down below for some more Air Jordans. Um, I think you'll be pleased with them. Like I said, I dropped those so you know you can see on feet. So it's something you might want to go back and grab and you can see the retail price. Different things different things so with that being said we're gonna get right into it as always you got a standard air jordan box well og box rather with the black the red jump man and then you got their air in between the jordan done in white and it's very clean you see it's gray on the bottom but what's interesting about this box is that as you see right there it has a quality control stamp inside of the box so i think i want to say what dropped in these boxes maybe it was the seven eights nines 10s and 11s was in this box. Um, if, you, if you know, you can correct me down below and uh, let me know, you know what I'm saying, if I got that wrong. But I believe those are the ones that dropped in this OG box. So with that being said, let's get right into the shoe. Right today, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low 72 and 10. So this shoe is basically based off of the 72 and 10 um, Air Jordan 11 that dropped. Um, I'll put the data here. I can't remember off the top of my head. And they just did it in a low form, which is actually pretty clean in my opinion. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know the Air Jordan 11 is my favorite silhouette of Air Jordan line. I love them. And um, I really don't have a problem with highs or, I mean not highs, but the regular cut Air Jordans and then or the OG Red Jordans and um, 11s and the low Air Jordan 11s. I really don't have a problem with it because I got a few 11 lows in my collection, but I don't go after them all the time because a lot of times with the colorways and stuff, I really don't need. I would prefer it in the regular cut. So that's really what it is. But this one is pretty dope. So, you know, the 72 and 10 commemorates Air Jordan's um, 72 and 10 season when they won 72 games, lost 10, and went on to win the NBA Finals. So, but again, this is just the retro low version of it. So let's start at the bottom like always. You got that hair bone traction down there done in a, a nice creamy, creamy style. I like that creamy style. You got your black tra traction pods done in that hair and bone. Then you got a full lean carbon fiber shank plate done in red and black. And yes, the test. That is real carbon fiber. And you got your jump in in the middle. So I always love the look of the Air Jordan 11 bottom. You go up to the mid panel and it's done all in white. Really crisp and clean. No, no breaks, no nothing. It's really clean. And then when you get up to the upper, that's when it starts to shine. So I don't have the original 72 and 10s in my collection. So I don't know what that patent leather's like. When I get up on it, you can really see the shine coming through it and the design and then you can see the design in the patent leather. So they took their time with that and it looks really clean. And then when I was mentioning earlier, that quality control stamp, when you go up to the upper, it's done in leather. That's like real leather. It's tumbled, but that's real leather. It's not premium by no means, but it is real leather. So a lot of your Air Jordan 11 lows, when the upper is supposed to be leather, it'd be synthetic. Because when you look at an Air Jordan, regular cut Air Jordan 11, a lot of times it's ballistic mesh in the back tab right here, where it's leather, that's not leather, that's synthetic leather. But it's only two little pieces on the ankle, on the ankle, so you don't, you know, you don't really miss it. But here, they did this in the full grain upper leather, and I'm assuming that's how the regular original OG cut is. And it's really, really nice. I mean, it's nice to the touch, it's soft. So this is gonna be a comfortable shoe. <clears throat> you get around to the rear of the shoe, you got your mini little jump man, and I wanna say that's done, if I can get up close on it, yeah, that's done like with a rubber indentation. And they did the same with the 23, as you can see. You don't have that screen print um, 23 on here. This is like a plastic 23. It looks like it's glued on there or indented in there, but it's done really, really nice. And it looks nice too, in my opinion. Maybe it would have been a little more fire if it was done in red, but I'm assuming the original 72 and 10s, the um, 23 on the side wasn't done in red. I'll post some pictures in the video as we go along. When you get to the medial side of the shoe, you get more of the same. And this is a really, really clean shoe. Um, and the insole, you got black with the red jump man. And you know, one of my favorites of the Air Jordan 11 is always these these um, <clears throat> shoe strings, man. I just love the thickness of them. I love that. And it's hard to copy that. I have seen a few cats here recently that's been getting their hands on some really thick rope laces like this for their Air Jordan 11. So maybe when I get that info, I'll start putting it in my Air Jordan 11 videos. But other than that, tell me what you think about the 72 and 10s. Um, me personally, I'm gonna pass on this shoe. And it's, cause I really don't need it. Now, if this was a 72 and 10 OG retro release, and since I don't have it in my collection, I would definitely go for it. Just to have it in my collection. 
Um, but this one being in the low form, I like. I feel like I don't need it. I still got the Jubilees that's black, white, and kind of like a creamy outsole. So I don't really need these in the lows. So that's another place where I can save a couple bucks. And I, you know, that's where I'm at with it. But it's not a bad shoe. Actually, quality wise, it's pretty decent. And I can see these. I know they're going to sell out because 72 and 10. Like I said, a lot of people don't have those. And then it's summertime. You know, you always got to have a nice little black shoe in the summertime. I didn't go over this right here. I don't know what this material is. It don't really feel like felt. It kind of reminds me again of um, Air Jordan 1s, the OG ones when they get old, how they just painted over the, the, the spun stuff or, the, you know what I'm saying? They, that's what it feels like, but it's not. You can see the cut right here and how it's stitched in there. So I'm not sure what this is. It's not suede and it's not felt. It might be Nuba, maybe. But I want to say that quality control stamp in the box actually refers to the leather on the top. So drop a comment down below and tell me what you think of the Air Jordan 11, 72 and 10 lows. Um, I will put a release date and a retail price in here somewhere in the video or, you know, somewhere because I'm not sure anymore. And I'm, you know, getting tired of going back in my word and re-editing videos for that. So other than that, man, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And I'm still pushing for those subscribers. So with that being said, oh wait, hold on, I didn't go over the tag. So it looks like it says 10621 to 1622. So that's about three months, man. Almost three years. That's exactly three months. So that's a decent size run. I don't know if that's because they put real leather on them or what, but we'll see. So again, subscribe. Also, like, comment, and share the videos. It goes a long way. Tell your family and friends and like some of the videos and watch some of the videos down below. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here as always. Love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.